This episode is all about stopping the blame game. How you can change destructive behavior and instead create the life you truly want. Aloha everyone and welcome to your podcast for joyful serenity. My name is Pia and I am grateful to be a part of your journey in becoming. Have you ever found yourself in a situation pointing at somebody else or the world or whoever, whatever, and just blaming somebody else for something that they did that happened to you, something that you feel was definitely nothing you had to do with? Probably yes. Me too, by the way. So you're not alone in this. We're all in this together and it's called the blame game. And let me tell you, it is so easy and so much easier to point the finger outwards and find somebody or something whose blame it is, to find a reason why outside ourselves. But truth is, things are the way they are. And people are the way they are. And all of this only has the meaning we give to it. I repeat, things and people only have the meaning that we give to them. Why do I repeat this sentence and why is it so important? Because you own this. You own the power of perspective and you own the power of pointing the finger and you decide in which direction you're pointing with your finger. When you're in the middle of a situation that is painful and you really are absolutely in the emotion and you feel like you can't, you even can't, you just can't, you, you, you can't think straight anymore. There's so many things going on inside of you. What we really need to do then is awareness. Just really feeling whatever you're feeling and being aware of it. Being aware that you're blaming someone or something. There's no good, there's no bad with it, but just acknowledge that you're doing it right now. And as soon as you allow yourself to acknowledge this process of blaming, the emotion that comes with it will change. Maybe you know we have 60 to 70,000 thoughts each day and 95% of them are always the same. We live a life that repeats itself and this is something we're familiar with which is why it feels so comfortable. Or at least, this is something you know. So it feels safe. It feels secure. It feels like, oh, I've been there before. This is also something that might have happened to you. If you've been in a relationship, friendship, whatever, and you are disappointed. And you tell yourself, oh, I knew it before. I knew he was that guy. I know she was that girl. I've experienced it before. But the big mistake we're making here is that we are just taking from our experience. And this is limited. This is limited to the people we met and the experiences we made. There are so many more people, so many more things to experience. And by only relating to the things that we already know, We limit ourselves and our perception and our awareness. 
and also the possibility that this person or this thing could mean or bring us something totally different. So what we're doing with our monkey mind is we're always searching for approval and we're always searching for something that says, yes, of course, I know we have experienced this before. This is just what our mind is doing. But remember this, our brain doesn't know if whatever we feel is true and if our thoughts are true. And I want to invite you now to really think about yourself. Are you your thoughts? Are you your emotions? Or are you the awareness that thinks the thoughts? Are you the spirit that feels the emotions? Who is it? Who is it that thinks the thought? Who is it who feels the emotions? That is you. You are not your thoughts and you are not your emotions. These are all part of the human experience. And if you really want to truly tap into co-creation with the divine source and with all that is, take ownership of your spiritual journey in a human body, which means be aware of your thoughts because your thoughts lead to emotions and your emotions will then lead to actions. And if you repeat them often enough, they will become habits. And you know how it is with habits, right? Habits feel nice and cozy and comfortable. And we like habits. We're humans and we like habits. Maybe you like your coffee the same way every day since forever. Maybe you always take the same parking spot. Maybe you always take the same seat in a restaurant, the same table. Maybe you take, when you're on vacation, the towel and put it on the same chair or sunbed like every day. Maybe you're going to the same hotel for years. It becomes a habit because you know this place. You maybe know the people. You know how it made you feel. It is so easy to search on the outside when actually the only way out is in. I want to invite you to turn your finger around. Stop pointing outwards, blaming people, things, situations, and turn it around pointing at yourself. You can do it right now. So if there's anything that is bothering you and you are blaming somebody else, the universe, God, the divine source, your neighbor, your coworker, your partner, whoever, whatever it is, and now take this situation, take this person, take these feelings, and now turn your finger around and point at yourself and ask yourself the following questions. First, what is my part in this? Again, what is my part in this? Do you have any idea what your part is in this situation with this person? Is this a loving situation? Is this a co-working situation? What is your part in this? Do you feel like an enemy? Does the other person feel like this for you? It's the question of what your part is in all of this. Do you think that you and the way you behave and also the way you are not behaving, the things, not only the things you're saying, but the things you're not saying, does anything in this whole situation that you're not feeling comfortable with, that you're blaming someone or something, has to do with yourself. Be honest. You're also allowed to smile. Maybe you cry. It's all good, but just acknowledge your part in this situation. 
The second question I want you to ask yourself is, do I want this? Do I want this? Do I want this situation? Do I want to feel that way? Do I want to blame that person? And maybe you'll be surprised and the answer that's coming from the deepest part inside of you says, yes, I want to blame that person. And then you're surprised and, and think, wow, why do I want to blame that person? Maybe because it is easier. Maybe because you don't have to take ownership of yourself. Because it's familiar, because it's a habit. Ask that question and listen. Sometimes it helps to write things down. Just saying here. The third question I'm inviting you to ask yourself is what do I want? And this is so powerful. This is one of the most powerful questions I have ever received. I'm asking myself. Over and over again, in different situations, it always comes and goes. But as long as you do not have an answer to this one, there's probably pain and blame involved. Take ownership of what you want and then dare to speak it out. Talk about your needs, your wants. But first, get it clear. So ask yourself that question. What do I want? Do I want to live in harmony with that person? Do I want to live in harmony with myself and in peace? Whatever it is, it needs room. So give it some space. And if you don't know what you want, that's okay too. But you need to ask yourself that question to get back on track. You know, energy goes where energy flows. If you heard me talk before, if you heard any of the episodes before, you know, this is one of my all-time sayings. And this is a truth. Energy goes where energy flows. So be very, very cautious where you put your attention to. So if it is blaming, you're putting your attention to what you will receive, I can promise, is blame. You will feel this. So the next question I want to ask you is, after you ask yourself what it is that you want, what is the next little step towards that want? What is the next little thing you can actively do to step out of the blame game and move towards whatever it is that you want? It's not others that are responsible for our feelings and our behavior and our thoughts. This is all on us. This is all on you. And you don't have to feel sad about it or angry or disappointed. Take it as a power because it is what it is. This is your power of co-creation. We are not responsible and you are not responsible for the feelings, for the thoughts and for the actions of other people. You are only responsible for your own thoughts and feelings and actions. So the next time somebody else or something else on the outside is creating a feeling inside of you, a thought, and then maybe an action of blaming, ask yourself, What is your part in this? Maybe you will also want to ask yourself, why do I let this situation create a feeling of blame inside of me? Does this serve me in any way? Does it help? And if the question you've asked it yourself and the answer is no, Allow yourself to smile and let it go. 
And if you feel like you try so hard and it still doesn't work, you are absolutely invited to contact me via Instagram or Facebook. I will put my contacts in the show notes and we can work on this together in a theta healing session where we will start and explore your subconscious and all these limiting beliefs that's maybe stopping you, that are maybe stopping you from really creating the life you truly want. Because these are programs that are running underneath the surface. Maybe as you know, your consciousness is only 5% of all there is. Your subconscious is taking control. Whatever you've experienced and all your experiences and feelings are saved on your, how do you call it, hardware. <laughs> it's like a chip inside yourself, like a memory card. Everything you ever in your whole life experience and beyond is saved on this memory card. And as you now know, we're always relating to things that we have experienced before. So if you feel stuck and if you feel like I can't stop the blame game, I would love to, but I don't know how, please know and feel free to contact me for a free consultation call. And we'll find out in 20 minutes if we can work together, if it feels good for you and how this could look like. Thank you for listening. Remember, you have all the power and everything you need to stop the blame game. Ask yourself some questions and then take ownership because the only way out is in. Mm -hmm.